Okay, we made it to video three. So this is our final video in the series where I'm talking through this updo, talking about updo foundations as we go. Um, just a quick intro, my name is Heidi. I love to teach about updos. I've been doing bridal hair for like 17, 18 years and I love it. And I think we can all, anyone who wants to learn bridal hair can do it. And so I want to teach the foundation so you can learn anything despite what's happening trending, what year it is, you have the foundations to be able to create all the beautiful things. So we've created the kind of PC lower half. And then last week we did this kind of textured top and now we are working through the front. So we've got a part, we're gonna sweep it back and I've pre-curled this for the sake of time. So we've got curls going away from the face on this side and I've got curls going away from the face on this side as well. And I'm going to divide this into two and we're going to twist it back and then I'm going to twist this all back in one sweep. And so because we've got a side part here, this is going to be thicker. I'm going to divide this into two and I like to go back and forth to make sure that there's balance. So we're going to start on this side, do one section back, switch over to this side, bring it back and then finish on this side. Now, trying to figure out the best angle here, my friends, we'll come over here. Here we go. Okay, so for the first two, I'm gonna take these two curls here and we're gonna bring it back. And before I do anything, I am going to brush through them with my metal comb here, just to break it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna use some wax spray to give that texture that I'm looking for. And then holding it loosely in my hands, I'm twisting it and I'm just gonna pull it back loosely and I wanna make sure it's landing right where I want it. So do I want it to be up high? Do I want it to be lower? This is gonna be not only a matter of preference, but what your bride is looking for as well. So is she someone that wants really a soft swoop? Does she want it pulled up higher? You gotta talk about these things and that's gonna help you determine what you're gonna do here. <clears throat> so what I wanna do and what I think looks the most aesthetically pleasing is you don't wanna have any gaps. So if I start to pull it up here, I start to kind of see this gap in here. And so I wanna make sure that this is connecting to this part up here, but I don't wanna see any gaps. So the way that I'm gonna rectify that is as I pull this up, I want to actually comb through this a little bit more and then cross it over itself. And so can you see how just pulling that back with my comb solve that problem, I got rid of that gap, and I'm still up matching this part right here. That's gonna make it look very cohesive and more natural. So I'm gonna show you what I did here in back. All I did was twist it around, right around, and I pinned it with the pin curl clip. So this pin curl clip is gonna hold it in place while I go through and use my pins to lock that in. So what I will do here now is I'm going to take my pin, go into the curl. So I'm lifting it up. Okay. I just totally loosened her head. Hold up. She's back. Okay. Start again. Take the pin, go into the curl, lift it up a little bit because I don't want any gap right here. And then I'm going to push it away from the face. And I'm going to go through and do this push pinning technique all the way through. And what that does is it really locks in this twist really securely without having to put any flat pins against her head. And it looks really nice and natural. So you'll do that all the way down to the end. And then you can take this um, pin curl clip out and you can see that it stays put. Awesome. So you wanna use a little hairspray to finish that off. Zoop, zoop. And then we'll do the other side. So we're gonna do the same technique. Taking this hair here, and this is where you kinda of gotta decide. Do I wanna have pieces out above the, above the ear? Do I want it all pulled back? Um, your preference, Brad's preference, is something you're gonna talk about with her. You can sit in front of the mirror and work on it with her. Um, for this one, I'm gonna pull it all back. And so we're gonna twist. I wanna use a little bit of my wax spray that helps to kinda of hold in that texture and I want it to match in line with this. So if I go too low, I'm gonna have a gap and that doesn't look nice. So I want it to hold it up high enough and make sure I don't have a gap right here. If I do have a gap up there, then you're gonna use this comb 
to solve that problem. Super easy. And then I'm crossing it around and I'm doing the same thing where I'm just twisting it to the back and then I'm gonna hold it in with this pin curl clip. So I'm gonna do the same technique now. You see how there's a gap here? We wanna close that gap by lifting it up, pushing forward with that push pinning technique. And you might need to go back through and smooth that a little bit. You can do that with your comb. And if you find yourself struggling, like let's say this isn't going down and it's not working, start again. The front is very important. You do not want to make any fuzzy, frizzy mistakes on the front. So just unclip that piece, comb through it again, and begin again. It's okay. Push pin here, and then I can take this out. So you can see where that lies in. Now, you want to make sure that you don't start to see these pieces stumble and fall. On really thick hair, you will. And so what you want to do is lock the end in with a regular flat pin against the head. So instead of doing that push pinning technique here, I'm going to take this end and I'm going to do a flat kind of more foundational pin right there. And I know I'll have this hair across the front to cover that. So you see how you don't see any pins there, but yet it looks really soft and effortless. That's what you're going for. Okay, so now same thing over here. I'm going to stay on the side so you can see the back. But I'm pulling this section up and using my comb to comb it away from the face. You can work with your bride here to figure out how much hair she wants to have down, how loose she wants to have it around her face. Use your wax spray or texture spray to create some um, texture here because you can also, instead of keeping a tight twist here, you could also kind of pull this out and loosen it if you want it to be a little bit fatter. So you can see how it kind of gets a little wider there, which is nice. And then I'm gonna hold it back here. And again, we can use this trusty pin curl clip. And then you're gonna close the gaps with the push pinning technique. In my Updo Foundations course, I talk about different ways to pin how to use pins correctly. That is a foundational thing. If you know how to use pins correctly, you can use them to do a lot of different updos. Come what may style-wise. So you can see up here, I've got one more gap. I do not want that. So instead of having to lay a pin flat, I go up and then I'm pushing it up into the curl and that closes that really nicely. Okay, so then our final touch here is making sure that this is locked in and that all pins are hidden. So one little thing that you can do is you can lock in the piece that you just did. And instead of having this show here, see how you can see the tip of that? You can take your end, so my end curl, and I'm gonna curl it over itself so it's blocking that pin see how i've just wrapped that around there and then i'm going to pin inside of this curl so this is the pin we're going to curl over it okay so that covers up that pin and now i'm going to take this pin here and i'm going to grab onto the end there and i'm pinning it up into the curl so it's up underneath these and you don't see it but i've blocked that so Pins are hidden, you guys. We don't want to see any pins. All right, so if you love it, and if your bride loves it, now you can kind of finish up these ends. So, texture spray or wax spray over the top. Use your um, comb here to blend these in with the pieces on the bottom. Her hair is pretty fried, and so What's really helpful is to take these ends that are fried and kind of bring them into the fold of the other curls. So what you can do is kind of grab on to the curls that are underneath with these kind of ends on top and comb them together. So you kind of hide the frizzy ones. And some, um, some of that cream that I was using before in the first video, this is the Tame Wild. You can use some of this. That helps too to kind of smoothen these ends so you can put a little bit in your fingers 
and let that um, work its magic, but also just kind of combing through the ends and putting them into the curls. If they're really bad, tuck them up into these curls. So just tuck them under there and hide them away. Now, if you're really loving it, finish with shine spray and then lock this in with hairspray all around. And there you have it, you guys. Pop her off so you can see. So we did the bottom first to create this texture, if you recall. And then we created this top section to give a little bit more texture and kind of this lovely um, smooth curl top. And then we've got the twists on the side. And there she is. She's a millennial for sure, because she's got a side part, you guys. Um, there you have it. So if you've got questions, put them in the comments. I'm happy to help. I've got an Updo Collective Facebook group that you can join over there at updocollective.com is where all the courses are. And I've got some freebies there too. So if you need some guides, if you need some um, help on products and what to buy, head over there at updocollective.com. I've got some PDF printouts for you there. And again, thank you for joining me in this three-part series on how to create this beautiful updo. And I'll see you probably next week. Okay, bye for now.